Hey everybody, it's Michelle, the Mini Scrapper, and I'm here today with my um, design team project for Creative Soup for the Soul Zibit Store. And what I created today, I'm really kind of excited to share this one with you because I truly fell in love with this myself. Um, like I told you in the previous video, we were doing pin cushion swaps over um, at the CSS Soup for the Soul site, and we did an this just totally inspired me to get carried away with making making more pin cushions and this one's kind of big to mail so I'm keeping this one for myself but um, I just wanted to show you and I'll put my camera down and go over some of the stuff I used in the project hold on <clears throat> okay so let's get started and I'll tell you a little bit about how I did this project um, first of all for the top, I glued some quilt batting. Whoa, sorry about that. I glued some quilt batting. And then I covered it with this damask fabric that I have. And um, then I have some flat back pearls that I trimmed it in. And then this is the um, turquoise mesh bling that um, I got in my design team package that's carried in the store. And here it is. And you can see that I just cut you know little section strip and then glued it on glued it around and I also glued it around here and around the base on the bottom so and then I did the same thing with the foam um, for the finish I just used a shimmery folk art turquoise paint and then I um, used put crackle I let that dry and then I put crackle medium over that and then painted it with white so it gave it the crackle effect um, I trimmed it out with just this lace that I've had in my own stash and then this is also a late um, a trim that I had for quite some time and then I um, embellished it with all the new flowers that are in the store and these, the ones that I used right here, these paper ones are, I believe they're called, we're, we're having a very hard time with this name, but I believe they're the frangipani flowers. And um, they come in two different colors. One is the really dark turquoise, and that one's, that's the one I used there. And then there's the two-tone color, which I used, it's this one, but I... Um, gave it a little spritz with my Lindy stamp game so it kind of gave it that bluish look and really on the dark blues parts deepened it with the stain effect that was in the um, star the stains so um, there's a lot you can do with these flowers just by ch you know even if they're not look at the difference in that that's the exact same flower that I used so cool and then for the other one I did use a little bit of shimmer spray I make my own but it's equivalent to the scintillating silver that everybody uses and then of course I use the acrylic flowers that she carries in the store the blue the blue acrylic flowers and the clear ones I had to put some of those in as well and the leaf I used these are the brand new leaves that she got in the store they're mulberry leaves they come like this and I gave them a little spritz of um, Lindy's shimmers and then the same color I did here I just didn't do a lot of it and then I was finally excited to be able to use these turquoise baubles on something um, this one is just my own stash that I've had for a long time but these I added my own pearls but these are the chandelier baubles and they are carried in the store they do come in a multitude of colors um, black, clear, no, I don't know if she has the clear, but they come in black, pink, fuchsia, and here's just a couple more. I have red, another turquoise, and then I have the gold on hand with me right here. But so I was super excited to use those. I thought they'd look really elegant hanging off of here, and the color just matched beautifully. And then for the bottom, I used, um, again, the same mesh bling, and I used the gardenia flowers that are new to the store and I'm really enjoying working with these flowers and that one came out of this pack which is a multi-color pack um, but there are single packs there's polka dotted ones there's different sizes 
So you just have to really go over there and um, and check out what you need and what you would like and the colors you like. There's some polka dot ones that are really pretty and they're the larger size too. But anyway, so that is my project. Um, I, oh, I even used, so there you go, there's another one of the frangipanis on the side and that is this dark, dark one. But I did, like I said, I hit it with the shimmers, um, like it's equivalent to scintillating silver spray as you can see close up kind of and then these little tiny flowers also came in my kit and um, those are sold in a little separate packet and they're they come in three different sizes and that being the largest and then there's ones that are smaller than the tip of my pinky and they're really cute for filling in flowers so give you another look around I didn't flower up the back because you know but I'll show you there's the crackle finish and that mesh bling is really gorgeous and I'll give you a close-up of the bobbles and how I put them in I just used the, the ring the jump rings and I glue gunned it underneath and then I hung it on there if you can kind of see glue gun will hold anything a big glob of glue and there's a close-up of the leaf and the oh and then I forgot the most important the little applique that's why because it's blending into my desk um, those are the new appliques that um, she got into the store Trish got in and they come in that's the smallest butterfly they come in a larger butterfly and we have hearts and dragonflies and I love I think they just add such a nice softness to your project I love it and I put a little bit of the mesh bling scraps and I did put a crystal flower in the center of that flower. So there you go. I hope you like it. Um, please leave me a comment and head on over to the store and get in on some of these great flowers and, um, and these leaves. These are really good quality leaves. So anyways, guys, I hope you liked it. And um, take care and we'll see you around. Bye-bye.